What's up guys, Zach Perner here, and on today's video, we talk about the balance between uni, school, fitness, and getting your brain massive. <laughs> So firstly, um, I don't need to wear glasses. These are dads, I just grabbed them for the effect and, <laughs> and for that thumbnail. So sorry for misleading, but had to be done. Let's just get started. So lately I've been getting a lot of people ask me about how I fit in um, university and fitness because I'm obviously at university, if you didn't know that, and, um, and school in general. So I think it's a good idea to make a video on the whole topic because I know a lot of you guys are still at school. So, and, and you might be struggling with, with this, but it definitely can be done. So I wanna tell you about um, what I did in high school. So basically how I went about it and what I'm doing now. So we'll start with high school. I started training um, at about 16. So I was in what, year nine, year 10 around that point. So yeah, I think it was 15, so I was in year nine. So I started training in year nine and at that point school was pretty pretty easy, um, wasn't too, wasn't too hard. So training was fine. I used to train after school every day and took some weekends off, but otherwise I just trained every day. And then I would um, prep my meals always. So I started cooking when I was about 15 or 16. Mum refused to prep my meals because I was like, hey mum, you know, can you make me chicken and rice four times a day? She was like, no, <laughs> I'm not a slave, do it yourself. So it's probably a good thing because then I just learned how to cook. So I was cooking all my, all my own food. So that's the number one tip guys is learn to cook your own food. Don't get your mum to do it, because that is just a pain in the ass for her, okay? So do it yourself, and think of school as actually a perfect bodybuilder's diet. I mean, you're getting up, you have brekkie. You have recess, that's another meal. You have lunch, you have another meal. Have another meal before, like up when school finishes, and then you go to gym, have a post-workout meal, maybe have some before bed. It's like a perfect meal plan. When you get into work, you might not be able to have, eat you know, two times during the day and then when you finish, it's like you're only restricted to three meals a day. So, you know, take advantage of the fact that you can have these meal times, it's awesome. Um, so anyway, so that was fine for me. When I started to get into year 11 and 12, when I was doing my VCE, which is, I don't know where you guys are from and what, what that's equivalent to, but that's basically um, the be all and end all of high school. So the exams and everything like that, and it's where subjects get pretty serious. So I was taking my school serious. I was aiming to get into the best university in Australia. So I was pretty, I don't know what I wanted to do, uh, but I was pretty driven on doing well. So anyway, so school was starting to get serious and I was struggling with uh, time management because I would, use, I would train in the afternoons and I would train for two and a half hours, get home, have dinner. And by the time I was ready to you know, sit down, it was like nine o'clock, 9.30, and I hadn't done any work yet. And I was thinking, all right, this is kind of a bad habit to get into, and if I keep doing this, it's gonna suck. So I something had to change. So me and my mates who I train with, I was like, what do you guys think about doing morning sessions? And they were like, oh yeah. So at this point I was 17, because I was in year 11, and I would, I was living in a caravan as well, because we were building this house, and mum and dad had the pool house, and me and my brother had to sleep in a caravan on the side. So I was living in a caravan, and it was fine, like I didn't mind it. And what we'd do is I'd get up at you know 5.30 every morning and go down to the pool house, sort all my stuff out, pack my food for the day, pack my you know clothes, cook brekkie, and then get mum or dad to drive me to the gym. So props to them for driving me to the gym because that was very early and I know that it sucked, uh, but it, was, it became a part of uh, my routine. So every day I'd get up early, train first thing, and then go straight from there to school. And it was the best. So that was some of the best training. It was, I, it was the first thing in the morning. You have nothing else to think about. You know, you, you get out of bed, you have a meal, have a pre-workout or whatever you like, and then you smash the gym. And it is the best start to the day, guys. You're already in like fifth gear. I think Greg Plitz said that. You're already in fifth gear, but when everyone's starting their day. So 8 a.m., you're buzzing and wired, and you've already done so much in a day. And you know, you don't have anything else dragging you down by the end of it. Like some days you might know, 
it gets to 4 p.m. and you're pretty exhausted. Mentally, you're drained from the day and you couldn't think of anything worse than to smash a session. You're not there, you know, you're thinking about other, other stuff. But first thing in the morning, you get up, you smash it, 100% you'll have a better session. Uh, you might you know, need to get used to it after a couple of weeks, but I'm telling you, it is so effective. So anyway, so I was getting up in the morning, even on the like those cold, like winter rainy days, sometimes it even rained in my bed in the caravan, it's pretty funny, but that's another story. And um, walking outside and then you know going to gym in the morning. So sometimes it was hard, but it was actually very efficient because I'd get home from school at about 4, 4.30 and I'd have the whole night. And I could easily knock out a few hours of study and I was on top of everything. And then you're back, you're in bed at 10 o'clock and you're feeling good. Every time my alarm went off at five, I wouldn't snooze. I'd just get, I'd jump straight out of bed. I was pretty excited because I knew that, you know, it was the best part of the day was about to start. So that was a sick routine I was getting into. So year 12, same thing, I was often training in the mornings. Sometimes if I needed to change it up, I'd train at night just for a bit of a, a relief. But I was dieting through exams. When I was, I was still in the caravan in year 12, through my exam period, and I was dieting. So now that I think about it, it's pretty stupid, but I was doing the cardio, no calories, crazy, because I was taking my training so seriously. Like I've, I've shown you guys, some of my best photos was when I was, you know, during year 12. It was when I looked my best. So I was prioritizing I was prioritizing pretty evenly, 50-50. Like I'd make sure I got my enough study done that I knew that was to get me on track and then everything else was gym. So I wouldn't deviate from my diet, I wouldn't deviate from my training, I didn't need a break from the gym. I don't understand when people say that when they say I'm taking time off because of school. That just means you need to handle your shit better. It means you need to be on top of time more efficiently. Now with university, it's different and I reckon better in a way because I've got more flexibility. So a lot of you guys are at uni and you know you might be struggling with your studies and this is where you just need to be better at time management. So I'll tell you what I do. Firstly, when I choose my timetable, I make sure it's very efficient and I'll make sure like this semester I'm at uni one day a week. So for those of you who don't know, I'm studying commerce, so finance at the moment and I'm at uni yeah, one to two days a week. That's mandatory, you gotta go. The rest is lectures online. So. When I can do that, I'll do that because it saves me hours of driving. So I'll do hours of lectures online, which I'll you know either listen to when I'm driving, so you don't take in as much, but it saves me so much time, or I'll watch in bed at the end of the day. Um, I really try to make sure there's no idle time there. So the lectures, I'll just you know get out of the way. Um, I'll rock up to class when I have to, and you know that's one day a week, so it saves me all the driving time. I'm not wasting any time. When I'm at home. It's, it really comes down to how effectively you manage your own time. So what I do is I like to write lists. I like to set goals and write a lot of lists, mainly for the day. So I write down what, the night, usually the night before, I write down what I want to get done the next day, everything, maybe 10 things. Cardio, gym, whatever it is. And school, every little task, I'll write it down. All my coaching stuff, everything. And then when I wake up, and then that'll give you an indication of how early you have to get up as well. So. If, you know, if I've got a lot to do, okay, that means I need more hours in the day tomorrow, so I get up early, I get up at five or whatever, and then as soon as you finish something, tick it off. Tick it off the list, I've got a whiteboard, I've got journals, and I just write everything down. Even this video, everything down. And you'll be surprised how much you can get done. If you just leave everything in the back of your mind, thinking, yeah, oh, I've got to get that done, got to get that done, you'll feel like you don't go anywhere, because you're not actually ticking anything off. And if you write a list and cross it off as you go, you get that sense of accomplishment and you want to do more. So that's number one is write lists, write goals, and give yourself deadlines on those goals as well. And another thing guys is you have to be efficient with your time. Don't waste it. If, you, if you're setting time aside to study, study. Put your phone down, don't get distracted. If you're setting time for gym, go there, smash it out. Don't stuff around. You know, Even if it's 45 minutes of a hard workout, that is so much better than you know, an hour of just stuffing around and fluffing around because you're thinking about other things, okay? So whatever you're doing, make sure you're 100% involved and in it and smash it. Another thing you have to be very conscious of is your planning. So you really need to plan and organize as much as you can. This comes down to your food prep. So you'll need to do a lot of like cooking and preparing meals because a lot of guys say that they're, that will, one thing they struggle with is you know eating times and, and not having the right food. It's like you can always cook food and prepare it and bring it with you. I've got it like one of those bags that have the uh, insulation in them. You can put ice packs in and meals. So I can take a backpack with food anywhere I need to go. 
but you don't need to do that. Just use flexible dieting and go for a healthier option and track what you're getting if you're out somewhere. Okay, so you need a plan for your food, you need a plan for your gym time and allocate that um, you know, as necessary in your schedule. But I need to prioritize. So I've always prioritized training. I know it's, it's honest. I've, I've never missed a gym session because I thought, hmm, I've got a lot of study to do because I will go crazy. I will mentally, I can't function if I don't train because I need that exercise and that, that outlet. I'll, I'll much rather train and then come back with a clear mind and then do what I've got to do. So even during exam period, I do not take more than two days off. It's just, it's, I don't, I do my normal routine. I'm used to that and that's how I, that's how I relax basically. So I'd recommend you guys to get into a good routine and then don't deviate from that. If you're like training every day and you know, throughout the semester and things are going well and it hits exam time and you stop training, why would you break your routine? It's what your body's used to, it's how you function. If that was me and I just stopped training, I'd stress out more. And you don't want to stress out more around exams. So I recommend just keep things constant and make sure you've got a good routine set in the first place and then don't change. Just be confident that that's, that's what you do. You know, Give yourself a study break and go train. You don't have to do study 24 seven. That's, that's not even realistic. So I'll go back and show you guys my little desk and um, a few things that helped me. Let's do it. So what's up there? You're on camera. <laughs> Look at her just lying on her undies. <laughs> you are one weird dog, I'll give you that. You look like you're in prison, mate. What's wrong? Didn't make bail? She peed everywhere here this morning, just to let you guys know. It absolutely sucked. I was too late to let her out, and she was just like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm pissing everywhere. <laughs> Cheers, bear. Anyway, this is where the magic happens. Okay, this is my desk. Um, and this is what I did. So this helps me function. Sorry about that light there. That's terrible. Um, this helps me function with my day ta my daily tasks. So Monday to Sunday, and then I write down the things that are constant. So for instance, I like to post maybe an EHP Labs photo on Tuesday, and I've got uh, my core power foods photos that I like to post on Thursday. Um, and then down here, I don't know if you can see that. They're my lectures that are constant, so to make sure I can do them. Here, like I wrote this last night, that's for today. So that's a lot of uni work, um, and you know, down the bottom I wrote film with a question mark, because I didn't know where I was going to, but today I thought, yes. Uh, and then today I will already cross these off. So these were the plans that I did this morning, done. And again here, a goal, 40K subs by the 16th of the 8th, so, that's just a little YouTube goal, but I often write down, um, you know, short and long-term things as well. Um, and even here, this is just a brainstorming, you know, if I need to write something down, but I don't know where to put it, then I'll write it there, so then I know that to get it done at some point. So again, I've got journals. So I actually got sent these the other day, because um, I said they look really cool. So I think, what's this? Yeah, so this is like that. Just lists, and I'll just tick them off as I go. Um, write little notes. Um, and we've also got other ones too. So that's a little pocket one if I need to take it out with me. That's not a sponsor or anything, they just they just send it to me and I said it'll take it, it looks pretty cool, but it helps out. So whether you're you know visual like with a whiteboard like me, that really helps. Or you want to write it down, whatever's best for you. But I just find that if it's written down either on a board or on paper, you're much more likely to get it done and then you can see what you've done, you see what you've got left to do and you can plan your time around that. So if you're thinking you have no time, you have so much time. Set your alarm earlier, get up earlier, go to bed a little bit later, find your most productive hours as well. So I reckon I work really well in the mornings um, when nobody's bothering me. At 6 a.m. I can get a lot of stuff done and I'm much more efficient with my time as opposed to four in the afternoon after I've just posted a photo on Instagram and I'm trying to reply to everybody as well as do some other stuff and it just sucks. So, you know, I just find out when you work the best, that's at night, in the mornings and really take advantage of that. So use that time wisely and, and plan that time as well. So book that in. So that's about all I've got to say on that note, guys. I hope I didn't just ramble for 10 minutes. Um, it's really hard to articulate how I do the things that I do because I just take it as a, as a given. It's just how I, it's how my brain works. But I hope that you guys can get some value out of that and you know take maybe one thing away from this video. 
other than, you know, Zach doesn't wear glasses, he just does it for the photo. If you take that away, I guess that's fine. Actually, before I forget, I'm gonna do a massive fan giveaway right now because, you know, there were some funny comments and I didn't do one for my Krispy Kreme, so I'll do one now. Um, let's go do that. Alrighty, so this week's massive fan giveaway goes to 123 Some Cool Kid who said, stopped porn for this, dot dot dot, worth it, hashtag massive fam. That was damn hilarious. Message me your details, mate, and I will send you out a pack. Uh, for those who don't know, I just send out a bunch of samples and uh, a personalized message. You know, it's, it's not much, but it is something. I also want to give out another massive fam giveaway to Booty Lord 300 who got the top comment on my Krispy Kreme that said, should have skipped smashing the donuts and smash the cashier girl, hashtag massive fam. That is pretty funny, um, considering the cashier girl is one of my friends. I know her from gym, so she helped organize the whole donut thing. So I'm sure she'd really appreciate reading these comments. There were some funny comments about her. Um, so sorry, Annalise, I apologize for that. But Booty Lord 300, send me details because you deserve a massive fam giveaway. But that's it for me, guys. So I'm about to get some food now. I've got a posing class tonight, so I might take you guys with me. We'll see how we go. And we'll train some arms. So we'll catch you later. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and took something out of it. Uh, please hit that subscribe button and hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And I guess we'll catch you later. So you guys know what to do. Stay massive.